shadow insurance I'm taking my Anastasia what? what's up babe no you can go outside and be a kid next I'm gonna go in with this Morphe E22 brush one of my favorite brushes for the crease. I'm gonna take this Meet Matte Nude palette and they're all matte, super cute packaging and I love the quality of their eyeshadows. When you apply a matte eyeshadow over a shadow primer like the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, it would be a little rough to work with because it like sticks and it's hard to move around. So you just want to work, take a little bit of time here and really work it in the crease and blend it out. Next I'm going to take Matte Sing and I'm actually going to apply that with my ring finger, so I'm just gonna pick some up and I'm just gonna pat it on my lid. I'm gonna take a sip of wine. Next, I'm gonna take Matte Malloy to my brow bone. And just with a very light hand, take it to the brow bone. Quick tip, always use a small eyeshadow brush for the brow bone, I mean, you don't want to go in with anything that's like bulky because it just doesn't fit that area. And when you apply makeup, especially eyeshadow, when you apply any makeup, you really want to consider the size of the brush and the area of the face that you are going into the face with the brush. What? I suck at explaining things. I don't know how I almost have a million subscribers. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm going to smudge some shadow on my lower lash line, so I'm going to take the Morphe E36. This brush is perfect for that lower lash line. It's one of my favorites. So I am going to take Matte Hung, which is like a taupey gray, just tap off any excess. And I'm just going to take that to the lower lash line, on the outer lower lash line. I'm gonna bring some light right here and apply the matte Malloy to the inner corners. Next, we are going to do some winged eyeliner. I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Waterproof Cream Color in Jet, which is a black cream gel color. And I'm taking my Moto's Angled Eyeliner Brush. Wipe the product on the back of my hand like so. Get it really nice and flat. Push this into the roots of my lash line. I'm going to create the wing. I picked up some more product. Again, I'm going to wipe. Take a Q-tip and some makeup remover. I like to use the Garnier Skin Active Cleansing Water, so I'm just gonna wet the tip. Wet the tip! It's going to run that underneath the wing and clean it up. Another thing you can do to clean up your wing is take a flat concealer brush and some concealer. I'm just gonna clean up underneath. Trace just below and get a nice sharp line. Take some uh, mascara and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand here. Just get some 
This is actually a lip brush, but I use it for a smudger. I'm gonna pick up some of that black mascara and I'm going to um, smudge this right at my root of my bottom lashes. And if any gets in your waterline, just take a Q-tip when you're done and wipe it away. Next, I'm gonna apply some mascara to my top lashes. While my lashes are drying, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my lippy. This is Too Faced um, When in Doubt, which is one of my favorite new nudes. It is a matte lipstick and it is gorgeous. And it feels so good on the lips. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some falsies now. Christina 415. Always make sure that the lash band fits your eyelid, because um, if it doesn't, you may have to do some cutting. And always cut from the outer part of the lash. I have a video on how to apply falsies. I'll link it down below. And this is the finished look. Um, I feel really weird without uh, black in my waterline, but I'm trying to not do that every single time I do my makeup. Um, so this is a little different for me. I will leave a list of all the products I used down below if you guys want to check those out. Also, you guys can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, peace.